Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about the model mapper library. I've written a very small program to learn the basic usage of model mapper. What is exactly model mapper means? Suppose uh, in your project you want to copy some of the attributes from one object to the other object. For example, here I've taken like user uh, user entity class. There are few attributes and I want to copy some of the attributes from user Pojo, the user DTO, so that user DTO can be used in the presentation layer. For that, for this purpose, you can use the model mapper library. Otherwise, what happens like you have to explicitly call get get name set name so you will be having multiple getters and setters so in order to avoid the multiple getters and setters you can use this model mapper library so how do i add this uh, library to your project if you are using uh, maven you can add this dependency in your form file okay so if you look at this picture what exactly it does the, the model mapper library if you give the source object and the target object from the source object okay it will be copying the attributes to the target object using reflection there are two types of mapping which is called as implicit mapping and explicit mapping implicit mapping it's like uh, the model mapper itself automatically try to scan the attributes using reflection it will try to copy the values to the target object whereas explicit, map, explicit mapping is like you have to inform the model mapper the so from which source attribute it has to copy to the target attribute so i'll be showing an example then you can understand so how it works it's like whenever you call the uh, map method the source and the destination types are analyzed to determine which properties implicitly matching match according to the matching strategy so uh, it's like it's done automatically using reflection the so name of the attribute should be same then it will be done automatically which is called as implicit mapping so i would like to uh, show you the code now so that you can understand so this is what i was talking about like entity class we have say it is loaded from the database and and i don't know it's like there are two classes like user and user dto this will be this will be my source object from here i want to copy these attributes to the target object so that the presentation layer can use use it so one more uh, point i want to mention here it's like for example id i don't want to expose to the presentation layer so that's the advantage of using the dto data transfer object okay so if you see here i don't want to copy in the id to the target object okay so let's go to the example here if you see here i am creating a source user which has considered it has been loaded from the database so it has these attributes okay source and the target is like very uh, simple empty object and i'm creating model mapper object and i'm calling map method there is no getters and setters at all okay so if you see i have to keep the source user and the target user so what map method does is like it's like it will copy the attributes from the source and it will copy and copy the values from the source user and it will paste it will set those values in the target user dto okay let's run this and see this is called as implicit mapping that means like automatically it will map and it will from the source to the target it will copy and set the values okay if you see here whatever values we gave like david your name email address and mobile number has been set properly the city is not set because it cannot do it implicitly okay that's like it's like you cannot do automatically for that we need something called mapping add mappings so we have to inform the mapper what is the source attribute and what is the target okay so what we are doing here is it's like 20 line number 21 is very important so we are informing the model mapper from the source get the city attribute and copy to the user city attribute okay so this is an example for explicit mapping 
If you see here, we saw first example which is implicit mapping and the second example is for explicit, explicit mapping. I have to inform the mapper that from this source attribute, copy and set it to this target attribute. Okay. This is how it works. So let me run this and see. You can see here, we'll get all the four attributes. Okay. So you see, yeah, we are getting all the four attributes. Okay. So the main advantage is you don't have to deal with multiple setters and getters. You don't have to worry about how to copy from source to the target and model mapper can take care of it. Okay. I'll be uh, I'll be giving the GitHub link in the video description. If you really like this video, please click on the like button. If you have any comments or questions, please uh, post your comments, positive or negative. It's fine. It will be really helpful for my upcoming videos. And I'm going to post a lot of technical videos. So please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for your time and all the best for your career. Thank you.